I'm thinking today about the, the hour of the crucifixion of Jesus. I, I mean about the timing of the crucifixion. In the book of John, you get to chapter 17, and verse 1, Jesus spoke these words, lifted up His eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify Your Son, that Your Son also may glorify You. All right, so here we have the hour. Now, you, you can read the, the book of John coming up to this point, and you'll, you'll find various places and ways that this is said. His hour was not yet come. They, they wanted to take hold of Him, but they didn't do it because the time was not yet. In, in John 2, for example, when talking to His mother, Jesus said, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet. What's that? Well, well the crucifixion was, was rather timed out by heaven, and they, God, God knew what He was doing. Well, now, what was it that was the catalyst to bring about, finally bring about the crucifixion? I mean, when the time was right, what stimuli was, was offered to people who hated God that brought about the crucifixion of my Lord? The answer is Lazarus. The answer is John chapter 11. Now, I want to start with verse 53 of John 11 and listen to these words. This is after Lazarus is raised from the dead. Now you remember Lazarus, close friend of Jesus, the brother of Mary and Martha, who grew sick and who died. And Jesus went after he'd been in the grave for four days and decomposition had already begun and Jesus raised him from the dead. Well, Lazarus, of course, is living evidence of the deity of Jesus Christ. Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead and, and lots of people witnessed this. They watched it happen. And of course... That, that causes all sorts of trouble with those who hate Jesus. Now, even more people are going to follow Jesus. Here's verse 53 of John chapter 11. Then from that day on, they plotted to put Him to death. That day was the day that Lazarus was raised from the dead. I mean, that's what happened that was the catalyst. I mean, it lit the fire to crucify the Son of God. Now, when I read a while ago from John chapter 17, and, and my Lord prayed to the Father just prior to the crucifixion, He referred, Jesus referred to the crucifixion as, being, <clears throat> as Him being glorified. You know, this was, this was how He would be glorified in death. Well, I want to take you back to something that I think is very interesting in John 11, the first four verses. Now, a certain man was sick, Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha, it was that Mary who anointed the Lord with fragrant oil and wiped His feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore the sisters sent to Him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom Thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that, He said, listen to this, would you? Listen to these words. This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Bear in mind again that that terminology is other times used to describe the cross. I believe Jesus was saying, this will be the spark that will light the fire to bring about my death. That this will put my enemies over the edge and, and they'll, they'll crucify me. This is how I'm going to be glorified. And it makes me wonder if Jesus and his dear friend Lazarus didn't perhaps have a conversation prior to this. Can you not imagine that happening? I mean, can you imagine Jesus saying, Lazarus, uh, friend, I need you to do something for me. And it's this, I, I'm, I need to pay the price for sin for the whole world. I've got to die on that cross and I need to facilitate this. And to do that, I need a miracle of gigantic proportions. I need to raise a man from the dead and it needs to be in such a public way that others will know that it really did happen, that it really is true, and I need you to do this for me. Could that have happened? It, it is interesting that in 2 Corinthians 12 that Paul went into the third heaven, the dwelling place of God, but it was unlawful for him to discuss what was said there. He couldn't talk about the place. I, I, I don't know all the reasons involved in that, but it is interesting that he couldn't talk about it. But 
you'd never find any statement from Lazarus either. Lazarus went to the other side. Jesus raised him from the dead, but no statement ever recorded from Lazarus. I've got a lot of things I'd like to ask him, don't you? What do you think people might want to ask Lazarus? Who, Who was there, Lazarus? Who was not there, Lazarus? What was it like crossing over? to? How long did it take you to get from here over there? And was it difficult? How, what did you feel? What was it? All those different questions. No recorded statement from Lazarus in the Bible about those kinds of things. But I know this. Lazarus played a key role in bringing about the crucifixion of the Son of God through which you and I have hope of eternal life in heaven. And for that, I'm very thankful for the friend of Jesus named Lazarus. Have a good day. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again.